Hello, everyone. Welcome to Developing Palettes. I am Aaron Loomis coming to you from the Drew Estate Studio. With me today is June Lou, Seth Geist, John McTavish. How you guys doing? It was a shaggy foot, man. I'm just saying. <laughs> I was in the pool. It wasn't me. I'm, I was uh, in the pool. I'm, I'm happy to, uh, to unleash my experience today, as it were. All right. As they have all led into this, we are talking about the Camacho Factory Unleashed. Cigar is a Toro, six inch by 50. Comes out of the Diadema Cigars de Honduras factory in Honduras. Uh, wrapper is uh, Ecuadorian Corojo with a little bit of a cut at the end, I guess, would you call it? Circumcision. Uh, binder is from Honduras. Uh, filler is from Honduras, Nicaragua, and the DR. Uh, price point is $7.80, and the cigar was released in May of 2021. So with all that out of the way, June, what was your overall experience like with this cigar? Um, I don't think they should have unleashed this from the factory. <laughs> I think they should have kept it in a cage or alternative, leave it in the aging room, sell it to, uh, you know, a uh, big online retailer and they call it seconds or bundle it with some retailer that doesn't really give a fuck or what they're smoking or understand what they're smoking. Um, Hey, in their but, defense, even selling it just to retailers who are not the big catalogs, they don't know what they're smoking either. So yeah. it's not just online retail; it's all retailers. <laughs> so true. All Aside college. from Havana Phils, shout out to Havana Phils. He loves this cigar. Oh, he te- oh terrible. Oh. Never mind. I take it back. Actually, um, I, don't, I don't know if he does or not. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I thought this was. Uh, I thought it was way too earthy for me. Um, I got a lot of this like, like minerals, like pencil, lead kind of minerality thing going on. Um, I got a lot of like rawness from it. Um, it's very cedary, very sharp. Um, it's just one of those cigars. Like, it's like, I mean, we all kind of know after the initial like couple of puffs right it's like you know what you're gonna get right so what this one is like you have that initial puff you're like oh fuck me it's also oh great it's also 100 degrees in my garage today right so it's like a double fuck me you know so anyways uh camacho um looking forward to going to your camp someday don't take this your... as a diss please <laughs> so, you may not make it back if you ever go all right so what was your experience like <laughs> <laughs> I got there's a, there's a big backstory about this cigar before I no um but Jesus I I don't know you know guys every once in a while you just, review a cigar man up and, and do it man up yeah and listen do it. it's it's I was getting cedar earth citrus cream um solid medium cigar nice complexity throughout the whole thing really enjoyable not there wasn't a lot of transitioning um but the profile delivered i i obviously enjoyed it um and it's medium medium cigar it's perfect for me and it's got a shaggy foot so yeah there's my experience all right john take us to your experience boy there's nothing i love more than two hours and 11 minutes of mediocrity that's that's what i look forward to in my review experience and the funny thing is the highs were high and the lows were low because the first third started out and i was like okay it's a little aggressive. I mean, the wood is a little aggressive. The baking spice is a little aggressive, but it's pleasant. It's enjoyable. I'm engaged. Okay. A little espresso, a little pepper, a little chocolate, you know, kind of jumping here and there. I'm like, okay, you know, maybe, maybe this is good. And then just hit a wall in the second, third, just flat. And I'm like, okay, well, if this is the second, third is how, how's the last third going to be? And I shouldn't ask that question because the last third was just discordant. It was bitter it was harsh. And I was like, Oh, great. I only have 45 minutes more to smoke in this review. That's fantastic. Because unlike some reviewers who, you know, only have to review a third of the cigar, I have to sit here and review the entire thing. So it's one of these cases where like the, 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 the last, the last third kind of ruined the first two thirds for me. Like it would, it just left me going, I don't want to smoke another one of these because it was just so unpleasant. Um, and I'm sure it didn't help that I had a number of burn issues. It's one of those cigars where you like from the very point where I lit it up, I was like, this cigar does not want to burn. It's fighting me the entire way. Uh, so I had two canoes, which required touches up. And, uh, while I was puffing on it, it went out, which is never a good sign. Uh, honestly, it's a, it, it was a pretty overall subpar experience for me. I was, I was not enjoying myself for the two hours and 11 minutes that I dedicated 
to this. Aaron, what about you? Yeah, I thought the flavor profile was pretty average. Uh, getting to smoke the first half inch without the wrapper was interesting, uh, but I feel like the blend works way better with the wrapper. Um, you know, I reading through June's review when I was putting the thing together, you know, um, he was talking about getting minerality once the wrapper started, and I was opposite. I had the minerality without the wrapper, so I guess that neutralized it for me. So it was just an interesting way that different palettes work. So, um, you know... There was some chalkiness that went through the middle of the cigar. Uh, that wasn't my favorite, but it wasn't really off-putting either. Um, cigar has a really attractive price point. Uh, it's easy to recommend based on that price, uh, but it's not something that captured my attention, and it's not something uh, I'd come back to. It's just, um, you know, it's just, to me, I feel like it's just one of those cigars that, you know, they want to put out kind of at a low price point, um, see how it goes, but it just, not, it just didn't work, so... All right, getting into the scores, we're going to start uh, at the top uh, with Seth at 6.92. Uh, <laughs> then we'll, hold on. Then we have a moment of silence. All right, second was June at 5.75. I gave it a 5.40, and John gave it a 5.08. Uh, all right, so Seth, 6.92. I just want you to know, guys, that if June had just, instead of scoring it good, on very good on the draw, he would have a higher score than me just saying that right now i'm just kidding um <laughs> what <laughs> i was like wait a minute <laughs> june was thinking about it no listen if you take this camacho actually uh, this is a totally random thing um listen this is a little bit higher than i was expecting but i'm going to own this this is a really well-priced cigar for under eight bucks it's a big cigar too you get a lot of time with it and i think if you dig the flavor profile and you kind of enjoy a uh, something that's not really Camacho-y. Um, it's not really even Avo or Davidoff either. Um, but if you smoke it and you like it, you're going to love them later on. That's, that's about all I can say about it. I don't know what that's <laughs> fair. That's fair. That's fair. All right, June, 5.75. Um, it was full average. So, I, was, I mean, we, you know, that's very apparent. Uh, I will say this. I think, and I'm not just trying to like, say something just to be nice but i actually love how uh when a company does a uh does a cigar where they kind of uh expose the uh, uh binder and the fillers right i love that because it really gives you a sense of like you know once you get to the rapid part to kind of understand how much of a role or not much of a role a rapper does play in yeah. a cigar so i i really wish companies did that more um but that's the, only, that's the only redeeming thing I can say about the cigar. <laughs> All right. Uh, my 5.4 matches up well. Uh, like June said, it was average flavor profile throughout. Um, I had a little bit of a burn issue with mine. Uh, wavy burn went out once on me. Draws a little snug. Otherwise, I'd be right in line with June if I had perfect construction. So, you know, it's – look, the price point's out there so that, you know – it's not a, it's not a horrible cigar. It's not a bad cigar. It's just, it's an okay cigar. And uh, if this is the price point that you play at for the cigars that you buy and Toro gets you the value that you're looking for and you like the flavor profile, then you can definitely do well with the cigar. But um, we smoke all kinds of cigars and uh, they all rank as equals. And uh, this just is where this one falls. All right, John, 5.08. I will also echo the sentiment that I love complications like this in a cigar. And I did notice a stark contrast when the wrapper kicked in for the better. Um, I got a lot more chocolate as soon as the wrapper started to influence. And, and that was nice. Um, but, you know, for those in the YouTube land who might be like, well, John just hates Camacho. Untrue. I really like Camacho. In fact, Camacho used to be one of my regular daily cigars. Uh, and I pretty much smoke the entire regular line. And I like them all pretty much equally from the all the way from the Camacho Connecticut all the way up to the Triple Maduro. I like the entire range. This to me didn't fit into their profile at all. I was like, you know, I don't know where I would slot this in between, you know, all, all five main categories. Um, and honestly, the whole time I smoke it, I was like, I would just much rather go and grab any of the other Camachos that I think are all, you know, well constructed deliver great consistent profiles. And I know, you know, whether I smoked it five years ago or smoke it today, it's consistently a good, a good experience. So um, this is, this is a big miss for me, unfortunately. All right. Uh, final thoughts on the cigar. How long do you think, honest question, how long 
do you think the wrapper was aged for this cigar? How many months do you think? Like 24 months? I feel like the wrapper was aged more than the rest of the tobacco, honestly. I thought the wrapper was pretty good quality, honestly. Yeah. Let's say let's say the wrapper was aged 18 months. All right. What if you smoked a cigar? Now think about this. Close your eyes for a second. What if this had a Cusano ban on it? What if this said Cusano Corojo on it? And this was the new mm. Cusano Corojo. What would you think about that? I would say, be, I would still you say be, you shouldn't le- unleash. You should not unleash it. Put the, the leash back. Put the leash back on. This is a leash park only. No unleashed. No. I think if yeah, I this think, is like I, I get I what you're if, saying with the price point. The price point I would match if, what they're trying to do with Cusano. But I think, but I think if you release the cigar as a Cusano Corojo, I think if you didn't look at it as a Camacho, mm-hmm. and you had this price point, people would be like, "Man, this is really a really good Cusano that they're kind of breaking back." That's my opinion on it. Yeah, but I would say you make it in a robusto. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you probably want to do it in like a different size, but yeah, yeah. It just, uh, it just yeah. smoked like something completely. It, it's one. It's not a Camacho or an Avo, but like I could see it being a Cusano. Yeah, I would agree. It definitely didn't feel like Camacho DNA. If if there is such a thing, in would that have changed your scores if it was Cusano? I think. If, no. I think if this was a Cusano, I don't think it would change your actual score of the cigar. But I think people would look at it differently. You wouldn't be like, "This yeah. is a stupid ass Camacho." You'd be like, "Hey, this is actually not a. This is actually a good price Cusano." Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. I thought the band on this was really cool. I like the, the color combination. I like the way it was presented, um, which is odd because I think this band is far superior to what came on this year's Liberty. And that mm. star oh, yeah. is more than twice the, twice the price. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think if you did something, you know, America-ish with this band and put on the Liberty, nice, nice presentation. All right. If you just catch this video on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to us, but check out the full written review on the website, developmentpalace.com. Follow us on the social media channels, and you can catch all of our review recaps on podcasts, so iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean. Thank you for tuning in. We will catch you on the next one. Unleashed!